there, Misfits. It's Misfit Amanda, and I, Anthony and I both have a new box of Dominaria United. So I'm going to be opening this one, and of course, cellophane or plastic wrap is the bane of my existence. But we did want to show that it was sealed. So I'm sure this will get edited out since I am apparently incapable of opening this stupid thing. Here we go. And here's the box topper with a spiffy, spiffy little it's picture. It's spiffy, I like it. Of whoever those people are. That would Joda. be. That would very Joda? good. It's Joda, yeah, it's Joda. And that's Chandra's mom. Uh, Grandma? No, Pia is her mom. This is Jaya. She's sure. A, like a, she's a mentor. Okay. I've got fireballs and artifact stuff. It's actually a really pretty picture. So let's see what's in the box topper. And again, opening plastic sucks for me. All right. Open that box topper, babe. You can do it. I believe in you. We got Tobias, Doomed Conqueror. He's a human soldier, but unfortunately, he's white and blue. I say unfortunately because I have a soldier deck that is red and white. So. Da, da, da. But he is a very pretty foil legendary. So we will put him off to the side and actually get started on this pack. I know Anthony gets salty when things are not yes. um, worth as much money as he thinks they should be, or if he doesn't get the card he wants. I am not like that. Best cards. Yeah, okay. Um, I am more excited about the stained glass in this. It is gorgeous. Like, that mountain, I love it. It's not worth a thing, but it's beautiful. We've got... Some general uh, commons here. Erg Spawn of Turg, which uh, we bought a couple of booster packs prior to this. And I swear to God, we see this in both this version and the stained glass version every single time. We, like, we got like 15 time. of that guy. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Maybe we should mount <laughs> them out to people. This one is a joke. Um, this is, it's an inside joke to us. It's Lagamos Hand of Hatred. And uh, my friend Katie, Misfit Katie and I joke that it's Lag Lagos Hand of Fate. If anybody has seen MST3K, we, you know, you get that joke. So, and this is again what I mean by the beautiful uh, stained glass effect. That card, the Cat Warrior, is gorgeous. So, I do have a mythic here, Weatherlight Completed. Oh, crap, really? Is that a good one? I mean, it's 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 one I wanted. It's not expensive, oh, good. But, it, but it's cool. That, hey, you know what? That means the salt meter in your video can automatically begin in the negative because you got a card you wanted. That's I wouldn't call it negative, but yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's good. It's good that you have it, but it does take away from a, from a mythic slot. Blah, blah, blah. And we got Twinferno and Foil. And an angel. So let's move on to the next pack. That said, I can't believe they completed the weather light. Damn them. <laughs> I can't believe they completed the weather light. That thing has been going for years. Mm -hmm. So we have a Power Stone token. Art card. Ooh, Liliana. On the art card. What? Oh, you got me excited. I thought it yeah, was. Yeah, no. I thought it was. Oh, that's it's, nice. Art it's card. the art card, but it's a beautiful art card. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a foil mountain, Phyrexian vivisector, um, essence scatter, charismatic vanguard creatures you control. Yeah, that's a expensive though. I don't know that I like that. Um, blight pile. Walking Bulwark, Colony, 
Another beautiful stained glass legendary creature. There's lots of legendary creatures in this and I'm absolutely thrilled with that. Red and white, Vigilance Trample. He attacks, when he attacks, all other attacking creatures I control get plus one plus one until end of turn. Other red attacking creatures I control gain trample until end of turn. Untap each other white attacking creature you control. So it basically gives all your whites vigilance and trample to the reds. And I think that probably is going in my white and red soldier deck. Uh, let's see. We got Revals of the Claw in the alt art beautiful stained glass version. And we got Leaf Crowned Visionary, which is great for elves. Elf decks, of course. I have heard they're trying to um, take tribal out. I don't know how successful that's going to be, though, because so many people do tribal decks, be it dwarves, minotaurs, centaurs, elves, soldiers. All right, so our art card. is very pretty. I'm not sure what it is yet. Stained glass planes. Land. Stall for time. So this is white. Obviously it goes with a white blue because it's kicker's blue. Um, Boda C Scavenger. C Scavenger. Coalition Sky Knight. Balduvian Berserker. Kura, Kenarud, Sky Knight. He creates soldiers. And again, we're working with the white blue on the soldiers. This just confuses me and makes me unhappy. But, and again, blue creates soldiers. Whatever. So what if they don't play to my strengths? Anyway, legendary creature, human soldier. Here's one that is in my strengths. It's white and red. At the beginning of your end step, if you control a creature with power greater than its base power, create a 1-1 white soldier token. That's pretty easy to do. So that'll be good. Um, for the rares, Temporal Firestorm. And then Tori Davenant Fury Rider is a foil uncommon, actually. And then we do have an unwinding clock in the rare. So that looks interesting. Untap all artifacts you control during each other player's untap step. That's good. You get you a soul ring. Unwinding clock? Yeah, I got an unwinding clock. Oh, that's, clock. A, that's a mystery list one. Oh, is it? That's yes. a list card? That's a list card. So we have a cat warrior token for four hands. You know, I feel it when, uh, when a woman has children they just need to have extra arms attached to their body like this guy because there's too much to do what nothing what, what, what? captain's call that's a great uh also great for your soldier decks um as an additional cost to cast this spell discard a card then draw two cards it does have a quote from the woman who i can't pronounce who's quoting the Underworld cookbook. That's always fun. Uh, let's see. Combat Research, Tatiova, Steward of the Tides. That's a good one. Lands you control, land creatures you control have flying. If you get elementals, you get going with the, the lands. That, that could be fun, because then you have flying lands. Talk about death raining from the sky. Uh, New Rona, Sheldred's Faithful. Mira, Scholar of Antiquity, and then Phyrexian Espionage in Foil. And I'm sure Anthony will go over all of the prices and he will get salty about boxes not being worth it. I never do that. Uh-huh. You and the Telerian Scholar both do it. Where's your, where's, your, where's, your, where's your mythics? I have one mythic. Oh my god, how many packs are you open? I don't know. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four. This is this is my fourth. Okay, that's okay. So for art, no, nope, goes this way. That's a pretty angel card. Oil swamp. 
some of these. I, I really love the art on some of these, and really that's my attraction to these these cards in the game is that the art on some of these are so pretty and that sometimes you can just make a really kick-ass deck. Now we've got a lot of duplicates here already. Balmore Battle Mage Captain is a bird wizard. That could be interesting to play. Here's a mythic for you, honey. Shanna Purifying Blade. Eh. Eh? You're giving me an eh? I, ha I have her. Oh, well, excuse me. She's okay. She's actually pretty good. But he complains. You know, okay, Tom, add the salt meter on this one because he's getting salty behind me and he's not even doing the openings. I'm trying not to. He has his own box to get salty about. And I'm probably not doing this video right, but I was asked to do it, so. But uh, you're having a good time though, really. I'm enjoying yeah. opening packs. I just don't know what to say about them, and I don't want to take see, too you long see, reading the cards. Your heart desires, love. <coughs> just, uh, remember, you got thirty packs to go through. I have thirty packs to go through. That's okay. yeah. That's so, that's okay. a lot. You don't gotta you don't gotta love every card. You can't for long enough. I'm just I always take time on the uh, legendaries. Oh, that's a good thing. Sure. Legendary yeah. creatures, because yeah. yeah. I like to see what my possible commanders could be. I just took apart a whole lot of decks. So, uh, see, here is a it, Erg Spawn of Turg. Again, we have like six of him now. I mean, it's pretty with the stained glass, but still. Nail Abazoa Aeronaut. She's an elf. That could be fun. Adakar Wastes. Land. Rare. Yeah. I like those. And a Foil Tattered Apparition. That pack didn't blow my mind. Mainly just because I'm sick of seeing Erg, Son of Turg. Erg. It was funny the first couple times. The naming convention for him is, is funny, but um, yeah, no, I'm done. Sufferlings. I like Sufferlings. I've been playing for a long time, including uh, Fallen Empire. So Thalids and Sufferlings have a special place in my heart. Planes, impulse, and I'm not organizing these, I'm just kind of glancing at them. When I organize them, that's when I really drive him crazy, because he hates my organization for it, but you know what? Nice. I'm the one who takes care of our thing, so, you know, I can organize it however I want. I can do what I want. I got this, uh, we ran a, a quick draft um, the other night when we had uh, Misfit Eric and Misfit Katie over and I had him in my draft deck Aaron Benelli is Ruin um, he was actually pretty fun he's got Menace and he can sack another creature and then you put plus one plus one counters on each creature you control now that can be very very advantageous for obvious ah! Manos, hand of fate. I'm gonna say it every time he comes up. You gotta stop. Nope, I'm stop. gonna say it every stop. time. Potty Gin is the rare, and a foil monstrous war leech. Manos, hand of it's fate. No, good. I'm not. I'm gonna say it every time. Stop. Stop. Forget everything. MST3K is awesome. It is probably their most infamous or famous episode. We've got a soldier token. It's like either that or Santa Claus versus the Martians. Uh, beautiful, beautiful bird warrior in the stained glass. I love it. So we've got heroic charge, Keldon strike team, Argivian cavalier. This one threw me off when I first saw it because I thought it was a horse and it's an orc knight. But I have a horse deck, and I was like, oh, new horse. Oh, no, wait. So. Micromancer, that looks like it's Rona. Runic Shock. Oh, my God, Erg, Spawn of Turg. <sighs> anyway. Vohar, Vodalian, Desecrator, Merfolk. V Phyrexian Merfolk Wizard. That means he's got to be a real bad guy. But I love the art. And the fish swimming, the light in the background. Oh, hey! Same match! 
So I know what card that comes from. Balmore Battle Mage Captain. Nice. And Sarah Paragon for a mythic. Jaya's, Inf Jaya's Fire Nato. That almost sounds like a sci-fi movie. And I mean the channel, not the genre. Fire Nato. Actually, didn't we have one of those a year or two ago in California? All right. Art card. Well, guessing that's art taken from a swamp because that's really all it looks like. First art card I really haven't been impressed with. Timely interference. Draw a card. Drawing card's always good when you're playing. We usually play commander, so. Defender. I had a defender. I had a wall deck, and I kind of got bored with it. So I took it apart recently. No, it's like it's really pretty. I love the art. But that's me. I'm I'm like, ooh, pretty. And he's like, how much money is it worth? So this is this is this is where our magic playing differs. Rada Coalition Warlord. Oh god, Erg, spawn of Turg. Really? Okay, you know what? We're gonna start giving away Erg Spawn of Turg. If you want one, hit us up. Because we have like a billion of them. Queen all in all of Rudok. Very pretty. An elf noble. Let's see. She creates soldiers. But that would work if you're populating an elf deck. So I like her. Rare Yavamaya Coast. A foil Keldon Strike Team. And a list card. But it's a common Opal Lake Gatekeepers. When they enter the battlefield, if you control two or more gates, you may draw a card. Meh. It's a list card. I'm sure he'll be happy to have it. But I... I What's the name? Opal Lake Gatekeepers. It's a common. Oh, but it's list. Meh. It was in the list spot. Meh. So. Yeah, I knew you were going to say meh. Let's just pick that salt meter up one more notch. My saltiness comes from opening these packs. Stupid plastic. All right. Very pretty art card. All right. Island. Phyrexian Warhorse. A new horse for my horse deck. Has a kicker of white. My horse deck is five colors, so that doesn't matter. When Phyrexian Warhorse enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, create a white soldier. Uh, Sack it, it gets plus two. Sack another creature, so you can just create the soldier token and then sack it to make this stronger. Good. I like it. Mesa Cavalier. See, that should be a Pegasus card, not a knight. Sunlit Marsh, that's pretty. Urtai Scorn, I love that because it's mostly purple. Hey, honey! Lagos! No, and no, of Fate! No, 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 no. For every erg of turg I have to put up with. We're going to give those away too. Cult of Conscript. Wrath, Weatherlight Stalwart. A full art, a dark car wastes. That's very pretty. I love the full art cards too. It doesn't matter what they are. If it's the full art, it's always so pretty. And an Aether Channeler. Human Wizard creates bird tokens. I have use for that. That could be fun. A foil vine shaper prodigy. And from the list, Noxious Revival. Put target card from graveyard on top of its owner library. Hmm. Either one green mana or two life. That is not bad, especially for graveyard manipulation in green. It's usually graveyard manip is in black. See, my salt meter goes up on these stupid... You want a salt meter? Oil. Can, we make, can we make a female salt meter? It has to be purple. Okay, that's fair. I oh, you, you pulled a salt. Sarah Paragon. That's never bad. That's a good card. Yeah, I've been putting the mythics to the side. I probably so, should have done that with the um, 
put the rares too. No, no, that's fine. But I, mean, I wanted to keep the mythics separate. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Stang twin. Now I've seen the card that this is from where you make a Stang twin. He looks really cool. So I'm glad we got the token for that. Yeah, we have a foil version though. I know. Wait, of the token? Yep. Oh, neat. Very pretty art card, very foresty. There's a lady down here on the path. So that's that's very pretty. I'm a storyteller, so I love the art just for the inspiration that it does. For those who may not know, um, I am an author. I'm with Four Horsemen Publishing. I do paranormal ghost stories. So it would make sense that I also have a uh, spirit deck. And uh, when the, um, what was it, the Inklings? The sil what? Silver Quill. So when the Silver yeah, Quill the came the out, I was like, no, I, ha I have to make a Silver Quill deck because I absolutely need to have a writer deck. Yep. Garna, Blood Fist of Keld. I love all of these being in this whole, um, the, the stained glass is so pretty. And then Jora, Ageless Innovator for our rare. And a foil, Baird, Argivan Recruiter. Very nice. Lots of stained glass in that one makes me happy. That one was easier to open. All right, Sapperling tokens, art card, people. Okay, moving on. I had a better story with the forest thing. Beautiful stained glass mountain, enthralled to the pit. That also has very ominous meanings to it. Works with black, bone splinters, shadow prophecy, Garna, Blood Fist of Keld. That's that's a decent one. Join forces. When we played um, when we played our draft, I was running white black, and that was one I used a lot. Oh, we have a stained glass of Aaron Benalia's ruin. It's pretty. And Lagos, Hand of Fate. That's not funny. I and seriously, I got the card again. Oh. Denitha Benalia's hope. A valiant veteran as a rare, and a foil captain's call. Captain's call is a great card. Very useful. And I know Miss Katie is going to be giggling her heart out when she hears me calling out the Lagomos card every single time. I get it. That's pretty. That's a nice like. It needs a drow. Looks like a drow in the stained glass. Love it. Island land juniper order root weaver. Pretty. Vine shaper prodigy. Flowstone kavu. A phoenix chick. That's adorable. Flying haste. It can't block, which makes sense because it's a tiny little chick. Whenever you attack with three or more creatures, you can pay two red. If you do, return Phoenix Chick from your graveyard to the battlefield, tapped and attacking with a plus one plus one counter on it. So, like a Phoenix, if it dies, it comes back. And it's adorable. I love it. Ah, Cat Warrior. I have a kitty. I actually have two cat decks. One is Wind Grace, which is all land manipulation. Uh, and that would go in this one because of the domain. His power is equal to the number of basic land types among lands you control. But I also have another kitty deck, which has Arabo as the commander, which is really fun to play, and it really annoys everybody because I don't ever have to bring her out to get her to do stuff. Jorah's Codex. This is Prism Effect. I would love to see this in a foil, actually. It would be gorgeous. Um... You get to draw a card. That's awesome. Um, but I know he's going to want this because he wants to make a Jota deck. We've got Najal, the Storm Runner. For our rare, we have Sten, Paranoid Partisan. And then Nail, as Avizoa Aeronaut. It's interesting to see them put in Aeronauts, Steampunk, into something that's usually fantasy unless it's otherwise themed. 
like the Street Fighter secret layers or the uh, Stranger Things secret layers. Aha! I will get this open. All right. Earth card. Oh, that's pretty. Looks like a genie. Island. The Ashino Branch Rider. Talus Lookout. Argivan Phalanx, which is a soldier. This spell costs one less to cast for each creature you control. Done in a soldier deck, which is usually a lot of weenies. That could be real cheap, real fast. Aaron Benalia's Ruin. Phyrexian Missionary. And a doorbell! Uh-huh. That's probably Glenn. Go Balduvian Atrocity. And here we get into our stained glass cards. Bortuk Bone Rattle. Garna Blood Fist of Keld. Aaron Benalia's Ruin. Didn't we get one of those? Yeah. Okay. So here. You can compare them side by side. Aaron Benalia's Ruin. It's a pretty good looking card in the art. And yes, I'm comparing art which is boring, but art to art. I mean, there's, there's, there's no comparison. This is a prettier one. If I'm gonna run it in a deck, I'm gonna run the stained glass are you, one. Are you comparing it to art, are you? I am. Oh boy, lady. Plaza of Heroes, which is the rare. It's really good. That is a good one? Yeah. A Foil, fun. Toxic Abomination, and a trash card. Wow. Keep moving, lady. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Go faster. I still only have three minutes. I am, I am <laughs> flummoxed by the foil. It's Twenty-seven minutes. You can pick up the pace. And Tom can edit it down. <laughs> Soldier, art card. It's a horsey. Oh, here's that thing for the art card. It's on the. It's on a forest. That's pretty cool. The tornado, lightning strike. Finalish Faith Bonder. Gibbering Barricade. That's the first I've seen that. A Nightmare Wall. Hmm. That has potential. Joint Exploration. Heroes Heirloom. Monstrous War Leech. Resolute Reinforcements. Rada Coalition Warlord. Also, again, with the, the stained glass art. Urtai Resurrected. Oh, he's the one with the forearms. Okay. Neat. And Sacred Peaks. Mm, nothing to write home about in that one too much. So, ugh. Any. An Ornies after. Oh, I'm holding them upside down. There we go. That's pretty. I like all the, the different faces on that. That's really neat. Forest, Yavamaya Sojourner. It's a tree folk. Snare Spinner, a badger. That could be interesting to add to a deck. How would you work a badger into a deck? Would you make it like creatures of the forest? Make it a blue green so it's like making a dam. Yes, I make stories with my decks. Don't, 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 don't throw shade. Her loon battle him. Najal Stormrunner. Rough Weatherlight Starlight. Tatiova Stewart of Tides. Defiler of Instinct is the rare. And a foil clockwork drawbridge. Pretty. So since we've seen a lot of the commons, I'm probably going to start skipping the commons. Um, oh, that's a new token. I haven't seen that. Sand Warrior. The art card. Ooh, it's the signed one. That's pretty. I like the art on that one. All right. So, take up the shield. That's got a Johnny in it. Radiant Grove, Bark Wave, Pilfer, and here's. Pilfer is where our uncommon start. Vortex Bone Rattle, Hur Hurler Cyclops, Zara Jonin, Elias Ilkor, which is actually a pretty decent one. Elder Dragon War as the rare. 
It's a saga. That looks interesting. And Argivan Phalanx. Chased by shadow tentacles. Looks like somebody's trying to keep them away. Again, I look for the stories in the cards. Oh, that goes to land. Impulse, Kidu Amplifier. So we start with Sprouting Goblin. Ruluk Mons, Warren Chief. This is a goblin. Great for a goblin tribal deck. Fires of Victory, cut down. Oh my god, Erg Spawn of Turg! Evolved Sleeper is a rare. Herd Migration in foil is also a rare. And then we have this card. And I'm sure when Misfit Anthony does his video, he will come up with a money account, money part for how much mine made. Now here's an interesting. It's a badger token. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Yes, I'm dating myself. That is a beautiful card. Let's see here. Now for the uncommons, we get Braid's Fight Frightful Return, which is a saga enchantment. The Weather Seed Treaty. Queen Alanal of Rudok, normal. This is also a very pretty art. Yavamaya Iconoclast, Ruluk Mons Warren Chief, Drag to the Bottom is the Rare, and Tidepool Turtle is the Foil. Ah, got that one in one fell swoop. Ooh, another signed, and it's a Johnny. I love a Johnny. Ooh, foil, stained glass. I know it's just an island, but it's gorgeous. So we have Wrath, Weatherlight, Stalwart, Relic of Legends, Founding the Third Path, Linebreaker, Bailoth, Czar Ajonin, Lanawar, Lone Speaker is a rare. It's an elf. I am very happy to see more elves. I'm probably going to redo my elf deck. And a foil, Tatiova, Stewart of the Tides, and a Phyrexian token. Now, I'd love to see a Phyrexian token actually written in Phyrexian. I know they do that with some cards. They'll actually, mostly like the swamps, um, they'll put them in uh, the Phyrexian language, which until recently I didn't know was an actual language, but apparently it's like... Elvish and Klingon. It's one of those made-up languages that has actually become a real thing. <clears throat> art. Another beautiful stained glass art card. And common, 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 common. Sangir Connoisseur. Another one for the vampire lovers. Territorial Maru for the elementals. Choking Miasma. Turu Kenarud. Radabrick of Urborg, at least it's not Urgs and a Turg. Uh, Vesuvian Diplo Diplomacy. Du Duplomancy. Duplomancy. I can speak. <laughs> Vesuvian Duplomancy as a mythic. And then we have Rulik Mons in foil and alt art, which is beautiful. And for our list, we have Quest for the Nihil Stone, which is a rare. I don't know that one. You don't know that one? Nope, I don't know. I'll look it up later. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that one. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, a lot of repeats so far. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a box. You're going to have a lot of repeats, especially no. in commons. I want no repeats. Yeah, well, good luck with that. No repeats. I'm getting down. I'm getting low. I know, I'm getting low. The sun's getting low, big guy. Yeah, okay. We have zombie token. We have, oh, you didn't even see. Johnny art card sign. That's cool. That's awesome. 
So that's, we actually got two signed art cards in that. Awesome. Keep it going, lady. I'm going, I'm going. Faster. Dragon! <laughs> Pretty art. Foil, or not foil. Common, common, common. I don't think these are as good as they think they are. But we have a, another Phoenix chick. It's so cute. Nishova Brawler, a cat warrior. Loving the cat stuff. Loving the cat love in this set. It's great. Another Jodas Codex. I really want one of these in foil. It's going to be gorgeous in foil. Baird Argivin Recruiter. Quirion Beast Collar for the rare. That looks interesting. And a foil joint exploration. So, let's see. What are we down to? Get the box off to the side now. Got all that's left? That's what's left. Oh, uh, I'm getting salty. You're getting salty? It's not even your box that you're opening. I'm getting salty for you. You're getting salty for me. Oh, I got a lot of pretty cards. That's what makes me happy. Well, I'm glad you're happy. I just wish the foil was easier to open. That's interesting art. Common. Insect. That's interesting. Common, common. Slimefoot surveys. Now, Abazoa Aeronaut. A Dragon Whelp. Vortex Bone Rattle. Elias. Ilcor. Sadistic Pilgrim. Gotta love it when they're sadists. Ooh. Anointed Peacekeeper. This is a rare. Hammer hand to the foil and a soldier token. Ooh. What were you saying, Woe to, that I mentioned sadism? <laughs> I'm not saying. Uh huh. I'm sadistic because I'm opening all of these. Mm -hmm. And then I gotta put them all away. And I just spent the weekend putting away magic cards in, in expectation of getting these. That's really pretty. Common, common, common. Very pretty. Love it. Love song of night and day. I like it. I don't know what it is yet. Draw two cards, bird creature. That's actually a pretty good enchantment for three. And it's a saga. I like that. Okay. Balmore Battle Mage Captain. Battle Wing Mystic. Stained Glass Rona, a rare Activated Sleeper, a rare Vodalian Hexcatcher, Foil Impede Momentum, and a list card, Commence Festivities. It's a common though, so don't get too excited. But it's pretty art. Oh. I like the shiny, I like the colorful, I like the sparkly. I'm easy to please, really. Except when it comes to opening foil. <laughs> Stupid foil. Art card. That's cool. Anyway. That common, 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 uncommon. Tori Davenant. Night's Dawn. Night of Dusk Shadow. Tura Kennerid, King Darian in the stained glass version. That's pretty. A rare, and when oh, he's a rare too. So we got two rares on this one. Silver. For a minute, I was afraid that said Sliver Scrutiny, and I was gonna get scared because Anthony has a Sliver deck that is nasty. And from the list, rare Endless Worm. That might be worth something because I actually recognize that. I'm going to leave that to the side because he'll wander back over here in a minute. Miss Fit Eugene is here and they're over there witness. They're over there whispering, trying not to be heard. <laughs> Very pretty arch. That's yeah, okay. Make fun of me all you want. This list card. Um, Rare. Yeah, I don't know. Eh? I don't know. You are so hard to please. Uh, yeah, yeah. You should know. <laughs> Whoa. You should declare us war. Shalai's Acolyte. Strength of Coalition. Wing Mantle Chaplain. Nijal Storm Ruminer. Shadow Rite Priest for the Rare. Coalition Sky Knight for the Foil. 
And another rare list card, Blood Moon. Oh, that's a good card, but I have a bunch of them. Oh, nee, 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 nee. oh wait, Blood Moon? Blood Moon. Oh, no, that's a that's a that's a that's a pretty good card. Non-basic lands are mountains. That would be a really good way to screw over somebody's land base. That's the idea. So it sounds like a card you'd play. Maybe. Uh-huh. Common, 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 common. Uh, or no, I'm sorry, uncommon. Tail swipe. Oh. Terra Sunder, Cleaving Skyrider, the Aeronaut. For the rare, we have Yavamaya Coast in full art, Archangel of Wrath, and then a foil G2 amplifier. All right, I'm hoping that one of these last things holds some magic because we only have four mythics. And it seems a little low. A Johnny Sleeper Agent token. I'm sad when I heard that he'd gone over to the Phyrexian side. I love it, Johnny. Alright, common, 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 common. Electrostatic Infantry, Tori Davenant, Knight of Dawn's Light, Knight of Dust Shadow. Did you ever notice that these two seem to come right after each other? Vohar Vidalian Desecrator, Urborg Lugioff as a rare and a foil Balmor Battle Mage Captain. All right, next to the last one. All right, we have another token, another art card. That's pretty cool looking. Common, common, common. Mossbeard Ancient, Frost Fist Strider, Inscribed Tablet, Prayer of Binding, Tatiava, Steward of Ties, Ivy, Gleeful Spell Thief. She is a fairy rogue. Mine! I have a fairy deck. Hmm. Granted, it's the wrong colors for my fairy deck, but whatever. And you have a Maya Sojourner. Last one. Wow, that's pretty man boss. Alright, art card. The foil mountain. Common, 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 common. Twin Ferno. Sangir Connoisseur. Territorial Marrow. Choking Miasma. Lagos! End oh, of my fate! God. Braids Arisen Nightmare, Braids Frightful Return for the Saga, and a Ornithopter. Wow, that box sucked. Four a Mythics. Lot. Yeah, out of a whole box. That sucks. Well. That would be, I'd be super salty about that whole box. Yeah, well, you're super salty about it anyway on my behalf. That's so. pretty awful. The only good cards I got was that one right there, really. This one's okay, but... That's no Liliana, no. I'm not sure if we bought and we still get to yield the Liliana or Lotus. I know. Yeah. But, you know. Anyways. You still have a box. You have a whole <clears throat> box unto yourself. You still have a chance. Well, say goodbye to your loving audience. Goodbye, guys. I doubt they love me, but, you They know. love you. Everyone loves you. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you enjoyed videos with Miss Amanda, let us know. Put some comments in, and uh, we'll see you on more ma in Magic Land, right? Yeah. Or something like that. That's the best I could come up with. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> and uh, Stephen the Demon making an appearance. Yeah, I am super salty. Tom, explode this list. Just explode it. There we go. Take care. See you. Game on. Game on.